Whoa, check that out. There's a futuristic kitchen and a staircase. Well, this is actually pretty big. And it's got its own bathroom. This is like renting two apartments on top of each other. And all of this belongs to those moving people. They're probably gonna get in trouble for that. Here we are in Bushwick. It's actually my first time here at this particular subway station. Maybe if you live here, you should buy a car. Actually, that would be a waste of money. The apartment's only six minutes away. Interesting, there's one of those storage facilities. These things are full of stuff that should have been thrown away. Junk removal, how fitting. This kind of reminds me of a story of Queens where I live, very quiet, not a lot going on. Unless it's Sunday morning. There's some sort of little park over here. This seems kind of nice. You could come out here and drink your coffee. There's one of those handball tennis courts. There's also basketball. Oh no, but you see all this wax? This is from renegade skateboarders wearing Thrasher t-shirts smoking cheap marijuana. There's also a baseball field over here. If you're an athletic person, you might like this area. All right, we're starting to encounter civilization, but I guess I'm gonna have to settle for a Powerade. I just paid $2 for this. I feel like I paid too much. I should have gone to this place. It looks like discount heaven. You could furnish your entire apartment with this store but hopefully you don't need a space heater over here we got a full grocery store that's good having something like this nearby you don't have to carry heavy bags of things that always hurts my arms and it'll hurt yours too superman across the street we have crazy pizza and wings 21 pieces for 21 dollars that's one dollar each then over here we have the office whatever happens inside the office is a complete mystery over here we have one business which might might decrease your life and another that might extend it. Wow, those are some big bongs. I personally prefer the vegetable market. I've made enough bad decisions in my life. Over here we've got pizza, then we've got another deli. Whoa, now this is a mural. Super interesting, check this out. That building's actually a laundromat, and next to that we have a subway. Okay, they keep saying they're making changes, which probably means all those meatball subs I ate in college weren't actually meatball subs and then we have a hardware store which is under new management what were the old managers doing looks like this haunted townhouse is for sale here's the listing it says it's 1.2 million dollars I feel like I went the wrong way to the apartment now we're very close and we're starting to see bars and restaurants it says I have to scan for the menu at this place but it's called the steel mill over here we have a little Spanish market it says they've also got Philly cheesesteak Wow and check this place out it says it's a Mayan fusion cafe. I don't know what that means, but I do know what this means. That looks like an insane deal. And this place looks like it's actually a lot of fun. This looks like the local watering hole. 60 minute mimosas. That time limit, you can accomplish a lot in 60 minutes. This here's the street the building's on. Kind of nice, kind of quiet. This. This is worth money. This tree is probably 10,000 years old. Just look at it. I would make a great scientist. And right over here, this is the building that we're headed to. It seems some of the units have balconies. Will we get one? I really have no idea. But just before we continue, huge shout out to Spotlight Oral Care for sponsoring this video and for whitening my teeth. Spotlight Oral Care was created by dentists using clinically proven and cruelty-free ingredients that actually work. They also sent their whitening pen. This thing is amazing. On the end is a little paintbrush. All you gotta do is twist it until the gel comes out and then you just Paint it on your teeth. It's super easy. I started using this 24 hours ago and there's already a massive difference. I should probably dust that mirror. But seriously, if you've never considered trying whitening or if you think it's something that doesn't apply to you, since everything we do is online, Zoom meetings, interviews, people might not be able to tell if you're wearing pants, but they can tell if you've got a nice smile and something simple like this that you can bring anywhere, this is gonna help you get long lasting results right away. Check out the link below to get 25% off your first order. and that applies to not only the pen, but also the whitening strips and all of the other solutions you see on their website. Follow the link below to get started. Now let's get back to the video. Whoa, check that out. 
There's a futuristic kitchen and a staircase. Wonder what is down here. Well, this is actually pretty big and it's got its own bathroom. We are ground floor, but we're facing that quiet street and all of this belongs to those moving people. They're probably gonna get in trouble for that. But what I think is pretty cool is the price. For $3,000, this is a lot of apartment. I like the building, it's interesting. They got cool designs and stuff. It also looks like there's Wi-Fi. And I was told that upstairs here, we will find roof access. Oh, that is awesome. And look at that, you can see the city way over there. Empire State way off in the distance. That's where we came out. It looks like you've got some seating up here. Now, of course, I don't see a grill or anything. I guess you'll have to bring your own. Oh, I lied. Look, in the corner, you've got a couple. They look like they've been here for a while, but that just adds to the flavor. Now we're in the basement. What will we find? Whoa, it's really dark. Oh, okay, there we go. These look like storage lockers. There's also a laundry room. Sweet, got a couple washers and dryers. And this doubles as unofficial bike storage. But let's face it, no one's stealing this bike. After you walk in, you've got the kitchen and this common area. The way to measure this is from the staircase. Not bad, eight feet, eight inches by 10 feet, five inches. I feel like all you're getting in here is a dining table, but it would fit right here. Plus you can mount a TV. And since it would essentially be right next to where your food is made. I think that's a reasonable setup. And this kitchen's really nice. It's got everything. Decent sized fridge, massive oven. Hidden under here, there's a dishwasher. I almost didn't see it. And look at this massive sink sprayer. You could do some dishes with that thing. Speaking of dishes, look at all the spots there are to hide them in plain sight since I don't see any doors. You've also got an outlet here and another one there. Now only getting a kitchen table in the common space would suck, but here we've got this huge basement, which I think is gonna be the living room. Even if I ignore all this, we've still got 20 feet by 13 feet. That's insane. This could be a den, this could be a movie room. You don't really have a view that's gonna distract you from watching movies, that's for sure. But it's a nice rectangular shape. This is super functional. There's also the little half bathroom down here. So, you know, if you've gotta go, you don't have to go upstairs. I wish there was a shower, but it is nice and it does have the essentials. Speaking of essentials, there's also this little closet. Okay, it's not really little. You could live in here if you really wanted to. And there's even a light so no one can sneak in there and hide from you. We've also got this door over here. Where does this go? Okay, it goes out into the basement so you can get to the laundry super quick. And I guess if you really wanted to save money, somebody could sleep down there, but there's no way that would be a nicer bedroom than this. This is big, 11 feet by 13 feet. You could put your bed here, here, or over here. Ultimately, this isn't a bad view. This will all get cleaned up. And look at that, there are shades, so if you wanna cover this, you can. You don't have to buy anything. This right here could be a shrine to your god, or you could plug in your phone and keep Keep it up there. But you could also have dressers, you could have a home office, and there is this tiny little closet which will be good for hanging up the essentials. Also, every room here is temperature controlled. And not only is that room a good size, the other one's practically the same. Layout here is a little bit different. We've got the frosted glass beneath, but again, view exactly the same. Comes with a curtain as well. It measures 10 feet 4 inches by 10 feet 8 inches. No shrine spot in the corner, but again, you can put a bed wherever you want. And I think the closet in here is actually a little bit deeper than the one that the other bedroom had. So between this room and this room, two roommates should be able to split the rent equally. This is what the upstairs bathroom looks like. It's kind of messy, but it is a full. Tub looks really nice actually. Plus you've got this little soap shelf in the corner. And look at the size of that sprayer. If you can't clean yourself with that, it means the dirt's in your mind. Get it out. Sink's nice and big. No medicine cabinet up top but we do have storage beneath the sink. But I'm wondering, how do you break the toilet seat? My guess is you were watching something on the internet that got you really excited. And hey, if you're excited about this awesome two, maybe three bedroom, check out the video description for all the leasing agents contact info and then let's have some more fun. Pick an apartment tour here or here and I will see you in the next video.